Hi, and welcome to your two-minute update here on MSUSpartans.com. I'm your host, Dave Ellis. The next time they meet on the ice, Michigan State and Penn State will be conference opponents, but they still had one more non-conference tilt to finish off their first ever meeting. Goals came from unexpected sources for the green and white, both scored by defensemen. MSU led 2-0, but the Lions dominated the game from that point on, peppering Jake Hildebrand with 50 shots. The freshman stopped a career-high 47, but it wasn't enough as Penn State beat him three times to win it 3-2 and deny the Spartans their first sweep of the year. They were the better team. Got to give them all the, all the credit in the, in the world. They, uh, they out-hustled us to most, most pucks, and it just seemed they wanted it more tonight, unfortunately. Men's basketball plays a crucial game at Indiana Sunday afternoon. The Spartans will sport a new look. Nike has developed the hoops version of a pro combat jersey. The set includes socks, shoes, and warm-ups. You know, I feel like it's very very stylish and you know, it would be even even better feeling for us to go out there and, and win in those uniforms. The women's team will play later Sunday afternoon when they host the only other ranked team in the Big Ten. Number 13 Purdue beat the 25th ranked Spartans twice last season, but MSU won the game in the Breslin Center, their fifth in a row at home over the Boilers. Just trying to put our kids in position. Obviously we're not a big power back to the basket team at times. So can we you know, use dribble penetration and we're trying to add some things that allow us to do that. First time since 1976 for the men, the first time ever for women's indoor track to face Michigan. Leah O'Connor had a great day at the meet hosted by Grand Valley. The sophomore set a school and facility record in the mile run with a time of four minutes and 40 seconds. All-American Beth Roll won both the shot put and the weight throw, the latter event also setting a school record. Both the men and women fell just short in the team scores, but they did take home eight individual first place finishes. Highlights from men's and women's basketball when we see you next. That's your two-minute update. I'm Dave Ellis. You give us two minutes, we'll give you the Spartans.